You know, I think at the very minimum, it would be warning signs and banners that would be issued on particular episodes or on shows in particular that were kind of uh, repeated offenders of that, uh, you know, of that infringement on that policy. It would be directing people to credible sources like the CDC or WHO um, on vaccine related information um, or other sources of evidence, since there seems to be just a lot, ton of speculation that ends up happening on these shows um, and people take it as infallible. People take it as somehow the other side of science when really uh, there's a ton of consensus here to prove that what's that what that information is, is actually incorrect. So at the minimum, it would be banners and warnings. Yeah. And, and Joe Rogan, uh, so significant here because it's the most listened to podcast in the world. Uh, millions of people listen to each episode. Have you heard anything quickly from uh, Spotify? No, we have not. Okay. I have not so- personally so we reached out to Spotify. We reached out to Joe Rogan. We've not heard anything. But I want to read to you what uh, Spotify said, uh, the statement they released back in April after Joe Rogan said that he would advise a 21-year-old against getting vaccinated. This is what Spotify said. Spotify prohibits content on the platform which promotes dangerous, false, deceptive, or misleading content about COVID-19 that may cause offline harm and or pose a direct threat to public health. When content that violates this standard is identified, it is removed from the platform. Form. Is that not good enough? Or what do you think about that? Well, it's just not being enforced, right? I mean, if we talk about the word prohibit, that would mean it would not be allowed to air. I know that YouTube removed the video version of the podcast, but that podcast is still available on Spotify. And that is a problem because it is clearly a policy that exists, but is not being enforced. And we're asking for more. We're asking for actual ownership and enforcement of policies that do cause public health harm and that do spread misinformation. All right, Jessica Malate uh, Rivera, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me. Well, President Biden went to Capitol Hill this afternoon for a last-ditch effort to get two voting rights bills through Congress. But after the meeting,